What shake it, Chewy Nation? Chewbacca Lemmy here, back for another half hour episode of just sniping. Half hour only sniping in today's video. We are on the Xbox One. As you can tell, we have 800K, uh, or you can tell from the bottom of the screen, we got those buttons that look funky because it's the Xbox, uh, and then a 92. Uh, overall, so this is our Xbox. We've been on the PlayStation a lot, so we're gonna switch back to the PlayStation. Oops, we're gonna use the C. Now, some have mentioned other letters like the D. I've tried that out a little bit. I've had a little, not too much luck with that, but D is also one that I I feel like a lot of people have mentioned. Try that out. So try that out. Try out D. Try out different letters. Uh, but I like C. C is my go-to one, and hopefully we'll make a lot of coins. That's the goal. Um, on the side here, I got my trusted uh, mutt head. Uh, which is a, such a good tool when you're sniping. It's really needed, uh, necessary, really, to snipe effectively to have Mutt Head uh, open. So I have Mutt Head on the side. So if I'm looking to price up, that's why, uh, because you can see what they're selling for. Uh, I've been asked to do like a video on how to use Mutt Head. Maybe I'll do that soon. Uh, but for now, uh, just MuttHead.com slash prices, uh, and you should be able to uh, hopefully improve your snipe game if you don't already use that. Now, unfortunately, we haven't hit anything yet, but we're just going to go through the chemistries and see if we can hit something good. Uh, as I'm recording this, we are really closing in on 10,000 subs. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to be gone uh, pretty much all day, uh, the day uh, shortly after this is recorded. So, uh, the following day or somewhere around the time. So, I'm not going to be around, probably even see 10K, which is pretty nuts. Uh, unfortunately, but uh, I want to thank you guys so much for the support. I definitely want to do something for it, and I will, but at least that's the plan. But uh, I want to thank you guys so much. You guys have been absolutely incredible. So thank you guys so much. Uh, it has been quite a ride, quite a ride in a short time, and I'm just overwhelmed and very thankful. Uh, of course, I have a full-time job as a math teacher, so this is not my full-time job. Uh, I have something else to do. I didn't mean to do Inside Blitzer again. Uh, it's not the only thing I do. Um, is 10 minutes for 65? Is that a good deal? I don't know. I don't know. Timmons is still there. Probably not. How much can we really make on this? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Seven. Eight. I can't really make anything. Okay. But, uh, yeah, um... I just want to thank you guys so, so, so very much for the support. It has been absolutely amazing. As a full-time teacher, like I said, it is really tough uh, to make videos like every day and do that kind of... Okay, I'm just going to buy this because I have no... Wait, wait, wait. Brockers for five? Like, that's got to be a good deal, right? 5,000 coins. Well, let's see. Says he's worth 14. The last one sold for 15. Nothing sold for more than that, but want to go with 15,000. All right, that's a pretty good start. Pretty solid. I like the letter C. Oh, cool. Cool. A lot of stuff sold. Oh, wow. Okay, we got a lot of coins. That stuff just sold. Oh, wow. 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 All right, so I am a math teacher. I teach high school math. So just so you guys know, if, I'm sure if you've watched any of my videos, I pretty much say in every video, but that's what I do. Uh, beyond uh, just doing YouTube, so I can't fork out the content that other YouTubers can, but you guys still come out and still show a ton of support, and I'm so thankful uh, for it. You guys have just been phenomenal, so thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so very much. Uh, if you're uh, now, okay, so to completely transition to what we're actually doing on the screen, sniping, if you're curious on how I do it or how do I know these prices, honestly, there's not a magic trick to it. Is just simply just getting on and just working the auction house and trying, you know, trying different stuff out. I thought this was a good deal. I'm just gonna buy it. I, I have no doubt this will sell. Um, we'll buy it and sell it for 47. Maybe we get it for a little bit more, but let's just sell it for. Four. Well, let's actually. He'll be. Uh, it was only 3,000. Let's actually see if we can sell it for more. Is this alternate Kim? He'll be our scapegoat, McCoy, to see if we can make some. Uh, one sold for 73. Will this happen? I'm going to try 69. Most of them sell for anywhere between 3,000 and 5,000, but we're going to try to get more. We'll see. You guys will see at the end of the video if he indeed did sell for that price, but let's keep going. 
Uh, let's keep going. Tackle Machine. Edge Blitzer. Uh, C is definitely my favorite. Wait, Dual Chemistry. Ebron. Milestone. Is that a good deal? No, I don't think so. Okay. Alright, so when you, if you want to get better as a sniper, it's one not simple way to do it. It's not simple. I don't want to say that. But you really just got to get on and uh, just get on and just check out prices get on uh, and just basically just get on the auction house and just keep messing around with it uh, until you learn some prices and then maybe just focus on a chemistry or two or a team or two and then just keep broadening your uh, your filter until you get uh, uh, you get to know the prices pretty well and then you can snipe whoever you want to um, but that's basically how I do it I definitely don't know all the prices. I'm sure 100% that I've already missed a, a decent deal. It happens, uh, but you got to be able to spot good deals, uh, ideally, uh, when you see them, um, and that's how you make coins. Uh, there's, un unfortunately, there's not that uh, great magic trick that I use. It's just me uh, being on the auction house and knowing prices. That's how I know them or learn them, I guess. So you got to get on the auction house. I could, I wish I could be on the auction house, honestly, more. So I'd even be better at it, but I feel like I do all right for it. The last few videos we've hit over 100k in 100k in 20 uh, in half hour. So we're gonna shoot for that again, of course. Uh, which I think we've had a decent start here. We're gonna see how much uh, good old Ebron sells for. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out. All right, let's see. It's got ours for 85. Uh, 14 or 15 it looks like they can sell for so let's try that let's try that let's go with let's go with 15 and it looks like there might be one up for 89 too is it one up for 89 still I'll take it it's still up yes all right mutthead coming through I wouldn't have seen that unless it was mutthead uh, we'll try to sell this one for maybe 14 uh, these things sell so much uh, 14, 15,000. I think you can get that pretty regularly. So we'll just try to get 14 because I wanted to sell. Uh, and I, I feel like that's. I think those should sell, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, knowing my luck or knowing how the auction house works, the, four, the 15 will sell, but the 14 won't. Does that make any sense? Um, but uh, all right, let's keep going. So I think this the C is just by far, in my opinion, overall with what you see on the auction house is the strongest letter. But D is good. S I think is pretty strong. There's other ones that are very good as well. Uh, and maybe even maybe for me, C has been the most successful. It might just come down to the fact which ones do you are you comfortable with, uh, what cards do you feel good about, or you could just do a different filter. Look at uh, legends. Uh, I know people look at like all legends and put a letter in or something like that. There's a lot of different ideas out there, and that's the great thing about the way that this auction house is set up is that you could make your own filter. And assuming uh, you are seeing newest cards that are showing up on the auction house, your filter is probably pretty good. Uh, so you can make your own. You don't have to use everybody else's. Uh, it probably is encouraged not to use everybody else's. Uh, I still feel like mine can be very successful even if other people see it because I know my price is pretty well and I feel like if I see a good deal, I'm going to be able to spot it pretty quickly and be able to jump on it. But it probably does hurt me a little bit putting it out. But honestly, I mean, what's the big deal? Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, line pusher, unfortunately. No luck. Uh, pass rusher. Come on, come on. Averill for nine. No. Nope, 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 nope. That young bud over there for 58. But remember, if you're on the PlayStation, prices are probably going to be a little bit higher uh, than they are on the Xbox. So that's uh, one thing you got to uh, maybe just watch out for. But besides that, pretty much the same thing. Uh, if I can snipe on both, I'm sure that you guys can figure out that the, pr the prices are obviously going to be a little bit different. But I can go right from the PlayStation to the Xbox and start sniping. And it's not because I'm um, this great sniper is really just because the prices are pretty similar they're very similar so uh let's hope that i can hit something though that would be fantastic uh edge blitzer nope all right let's keep going i don't know what else to bring to the channel as well i now that we're you know gonna be at 10k like i gotta start you know i've been thinking but what else do i bring to the channel i don't know a lot of people have said 2k maybe that's the uh, or do i just do other things on madden uh, besides that, I don't know. It, it's hard. It's hard. I, I obviously Madden sniping is my comfort zone. P even playing the game is out of my comfort zone a little bit because I'm just not as good as other YouTubers. But uh, definitely, definitely getting better. Uh, it's it's good when I force myself to upload. 
because even though I lose sometimes and you see that and you see how bad I play, even if I win, you see some bad stuff, it makes me get better. It makes me push to get better. So uploading and doing YouTube has made me a better, uh, better not YouTuber, obviously. I hope I get a better as I go on, but a better Madden player as well. So I think it's really helped. You guys have helped me out with stuff that I, you know, stuff that I didn't know. Uh, you guys helped me up with how do I go scroll down so fast? How do I put up cards so fast? You guys taught me that. Uh, I did not. I was not the one who figured that out. Uh, I, you guys were watching me, and somebody let me know, and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is like the greatest thing ever. Um, so thank you. You guys have been phenomenal. Stuff I would have never learned if it wasn't for you guys. So my sniping skills have been way better uh, thanks to thanks to you guys. Um, hmm. Deep threat. Nope. Bruising back. Zach Martin. No. No, no, no. All right, all right. Ankle breaker. We got Mariota. We got nothing at all. Ankle breaker. I hope you guys had a fantastic week. Uh, so this is the weekend now as I'm recording this. If you're watching it during the week, well, I hope you're having another, a fantastic week. But right now, we're on the weekend. So I hope you guys had a wonderful week. It's good uh, to have another week in the bag. It's crazy to think we are already halfway through um, the third. Is it a good deal? We're already halfway through the third quarter. So if you're obviously in high school, if you're you're like already halfway through the third quarter, that's crazy to think how close we are to the finish line. Um, if you're a senior, you're really getting close to the finish line. If not, you still get the summers off. Uh, believe me, you probably want to stay in school as long as you can. I miss it. Uh, high school was okay. College, great. College is fantastic. Uh, Seahawks, come on. I want to go back. McDaniel for 15. Yeah, we'll buy you. We'll buy you. We'll sell you for 19.5. Make a couple 2,500 coins ish, and yeah. Um, when I go back and get my masters, which will hopefully be shortly, uh, when I get that, I, I'm really gonna dig that. Of course, I'll you know have a full time job too, which makes it not as fun, but I'm excited. Excited to get some more education. I obviously I'm teaching, so I value education decently highly. Uh, so, pro education, line pusher, pass rusher, got Mac over there, nothing else. Wait, how much does McAdoo go for? Route running and pass rush, let's just see. Nope. Uh, now, he, since he just sold, I really want to know. The low price of 37. Ooh, that was a buy, I think. Hmm. Uh-uh-uh, that was a buy. Okay. They definitely is probably sold for like 50. Oh, how much does uh, Mr. Clay go for Milestones? Milestones Clay Matthews. Wow, that's his only card. His only, I mean, he hasn't got an upgrade since, not his only card, but. Oh, all right, he's 450K, all right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, edge setter, come on, come on, come on, Clowny. Uh, I was really, really worried when I seen Clowny in uh, Rogers come out. I'm like, oh, there just went my Rogers. My value went way down. But honestly, not really. Uh, since it's a uh, two million coin card, a little less than that now, but uh, not as much as I thought it would. Wow, you are so cheap. I'm glad I sold mine. Um, I don't think I have it on this account. I don't know. Um, yeah. So Rogers being out is not really affecting my overall. But I'm thinking about selling him, picking up. Brett Favre, because with the way I set my team up, I will still be getting Chain Movers Tier 2 uh, with with having Brett Favre if I pick up the, the Chain Mover one. So, is this a good deal? No, it's not. Okay. What about 10K? No. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Tackle Machine. Unfortunately, no thank you. Edge Blitzer, Ebron, Cameron Jordan. Is that... I think I decided that wasn't a good deal on Ebron's uh, milestone, 16.5. Yeah, it's only worth about 20. Okay. Okay. I kind of want to buy this one for 10. I think I will. I will. 
I will not, even though it was up for... That's so frustrating. Uh... But I'm going to switch to Aaron Rodgers on my PlayStation team. Uh, hopefully that will get us to a 98. It probably will still be a 97. But maybe, just maybe, it will get us to a 98. Which will be pretty awesome um, if it did. 98 this early on. That's pretty cool. Is that Milestones? That's Milestones, right? If it has two chemistries like that. Even, yeah, we're buying this. Alright. Alright. Obviously I know Milestones has two chemistries, but... Uh, if you noticed, it was like picking up the chemistry from the previous one. For whatever reason, um, they have they have not fixed that or whatever. I don't know what they can do with that. But all right, we bought this, uh, Mr. Oh, I don't know if we can sell this for much. Twenty-four. I don't know. I'm gonna try to sell it for twenty-eight. Uh, it looks like we. I don't know if we'll be able to sell that right now though for that price. We'll see. I don't know if that was a good buy or not. I think it's a good buy. I think it will sell, but it might take a while, which I'm not a huge fan of those. Can I do that again? I might not have bought that. Um, all right, it's Edge Blitzer, keep going. Cover the linebacker, come on, come on, come on. Falcons, McKinney for 10. Nah, could maybe make a little bit there, uh, but I don't think there's much to, much to be had there. Come on, lock down, lock down, lock down. We got Cockrell there. I don't know how much you're worth, so I'm gonna look you up. I think you're worth about that, but you are. You are. Lockdown and pick special, it's such good chemistries. Oh, yes, but lockdown, okay, pick specialist. Come on, come on. We got Beckham, we got Peters. Deep Defender, McCordy. Nope. Big Hitter. Got Clowny down a little bit. All right, Freeze Offense. Come on, come on, come on. Freeze Offense. McCoy, Victor Cruz. For running back on PlayStation, so you guys have been giving me a lot of advice there. Uh, Zeke, I think, was the most popular choice, so I think that's who we're going to go. I honestly want to try out also uh, that Jamal Charles card, the 93 overall one. That looks kind of fun because I don't really see anybody use that card. So maybe it's because it's not very good. I don't know, but it looks kind of interesting. So maybe I'll have him. But then if I pick up Zeke, I feel like I need like a power back. Like I almost need it. Either just keep Peterson, pick up maybe a LeGarrette Blunt, have somebody back up. Uh, maybe have a, a two different types of backs, but I don't know. I don't know. Zeke seemed like the most obvious choice, or the most uh, like highly sought after choice that you guys seem to want. So I think Zeke is probably the running back we go with. And then I have to decide. See, this is what gets tricky. This is the chemistry thing in action. All right. So all right. So say I pick up uh, Mr. Zeke. I pick him up, and Zeke is on the team from the Ohio State University. Uh, we pick him up, and which is great, but we are now getting Ankle Breaker Tier 1 just with him alone, I believe. Uh, now, and we have Tyreek Hill at wide receiver 4, who gives Energizer and Ankle Breaker Tier 2, I believe, uh, times 2. So then, do we put Tyreek Hill in the slot, so then we get uh, Ankle Breaker Tier 2, or is that not even that important? And do we keep exactly what we have, so we get the plus 2 catching that... Uh, Emmanuel Sanders gives you know there's so many choices that I don't know how to decide uh, but it definitely would help Zeke but I will bring down my overalls I will bring down the catching obviously catching helps the defensive side too uh, helps everybody so I feel like that's more valuable but you kind of like when you get a new card you kind of want to try it out with like to the max you want to you know push it uh, so you almost want to just maybe I just swap it back and forth maybe that's what I do uh, Bengals. Is that April? I kind of... Alright, we'll buy that. See, that's been up for so long. Alright, let's go back. Okay, what am I going to buy that? Let's check that April card, though. No. Okay, 45 is what he's worth. Okay. He's been kind of rusty here. Not really hitting anything. Which, you know, is, uh, not that fun. Um, at all. No. Cover linebacker, come on. It will make it really easy to do a recap of what I hit, though. 
because it was nothing. Hot hands, Buchanan. I should have bought it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I have no idea. They're like selling right now for 20, I mean, uh, low 30, so uh, maybe. Maybe. But there's also one up for 35 and she other cheap ones, so uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Lockdown was not successful, though. Pig specialist. Butler, New England coach. Um, that's fantastic. No. Uh, pick specialist, deep defender. Come on. McCourty? No. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> we might pick up that McCourty card actually for this team. Try it out. Ooh. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. That, that should be decent, I hope. At 7,000, I mean, it's gotta be. It's gotta be solid. Gotta be. Come on. Um. Maybe 13-ish? 13.5? Okay. Let's try 13.5. Let's try 13.5. It'll be tw about 12, 5,000 right there. At least there's something uh, to be had uh, with all this weight. Weight. There is no way. Oh, that one's sold. I might still buy the 21, though. No, there's just so many. I think that's a buy. Like, you should buy it and just maybe hold on to it, because that card's got to go back up. 21,000? That seems nuts. Uh, Chiefs for Mr. Eric Berry. Are you that cheap? I'm going to say no. I'm going to try to buy it. Oh, well, I'm going to buy it. 16, 14, 4. That's 2,000 right there if it sells, which we're going to hope it does. 16 it is. Let's keep going. Let's hit something big after this. What, you know, we got, This is nice, you know. It's nice to hit a few K here, a few K there. But you really want those big hits um, to really make a successful half hour. Unfortunately, there just hasn't been those this time. Landon Collins. All right, here we go. Come on. We only got like a few more times to do this stuff. We only have time for... All right, Victor Cruz. See what you're selling for. Mr. Cruz. What is, what is people, what are people selling you for? 12,750, looks about the max, dang it. Um, maybe you guys are having more luck than that, but that's what I'm gonna sell it for, 12,750. Uh, maybe I could get a little more out of that, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this 10 though, one, two, might as well. We're gonna try to sell this one. Let's actually look at the breakdown. Let's see in the last, this, this only goes to the last like 20 minutes. So 13, um, they're not really selling for 14, but I might try it anyway. 14 it is. 14 it is, that's 12, 2,600 right there. If that does sell, of course, that's an if. Oh my goodness, there's one up for 93 as well. I'm gonna buy them all. Uh, yes, I could just go back and get the other one, but no, we're just going to chance it. I bought the more expensive one. Yes, I realize that. Because I'm hoping that I get all, I get all of them. I'm just going to buy a bunch of Victor Cruises. This is the Victor Cruz show. All right. Victor Cruz it is. All right. I'm going to try to get 15 out of this one. You never know. Let's see what the what we can get out of you. Victor Cruz, 15. All right, I don't, don't put any more up. Oh, well, maybe, okay, put more up. Let's see. No, okay. We have so many Victor Cruises. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep his price up by ourselves if we have to. We're gonna buy so many of them. We will not let that price fall. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, that was solid though. That's still gonna be add up to probably like 10K just right there. So that's pretty good. Um, those are the kind of stuff that really just um, will add up. Uh, even if it's just a few K here, a few K there, uh, definitely add up. So don't don't just laugh at that. Don't just sneeze at it. That can be pretty good. Um, but that's not, not very good. Bruising back. All right. Ankle breaker. Come on, come on, come on. We running out of time. We have to, we actually have Coleman on our team, on this team. 
Um, Jared Cook, Kelsey at 21. Michael Thomas, we also have him, I believe. Uh, slot expert, come on. Inunua. I have no idea what you're worth. I, I don't know why not. Why don't I just do like buy it now? I can't imagine he's worth much. Yeah. What am I thinking? You know, wasting time. That's what I'm thinking. Just let's, let's figure out how to waste time by looking up Inunua. Not a smart decision. Not at all. All right, let's keep going. Come on, come on, come on. All right, into inside blocker. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Inside blocker. Casey. Nope. Keep going. Keep it going. If you want to see any like players on my Xbox team, let me know. I, I probably show you that after I'm done sniping, just a real quick. See, so because I haven't shown this team in quite a while, uh, so you guys can see it. If you have any suggestions, I have not updated in a while, uh, so it's it is what it is. All uh, you guys will have to let me know what you think and what I can do to upgrade it. I actually don't even remember. Some of the players I have on my team. Branch for 95. That seems really cheap. Yeah, we're buying this. We're buying this. I know I see a couple other ones, but I'm I'm gonna trust my instinct on this one that it can sell for more than that. Let's see. Branch. Now what are you selling for? I think we might be able to sell this for like I think we might be able to sell this for 15. Instinct, don't let me down. 13.5, that's 4,000 coins right there. Oh, that would be awesome. Either way, we're going to make something decent there. Wait, Frosty Rucker? I mean, those cards are just so rare. That's the only reason I'm checking it out. I'm not going to bother with it. Maybe I should just look it up, but these cards don't sell, so. Frosty, yeah, it's worth 10k. I'm not even, I'm not even going to bother. Uh, I don't like hold. I don't like to keep that. I mean, yeah, maybe you can sell it for 15, close to 15. But do you really want to keep putting it up over and over and over and over again? I don't really want to. Maybe you only have to do it once. Maybe you have to do it like 10 times. I'm just gonna go ahead and pass. Tackle machine, McCoy, Church, meh, meh. Uh, no, thank you. Nope. Edge Blitzer, come on. Avril, hopefully one of the cards sold and not something expiring from before I started sniping. I think pretty much every, everything sold before that though. Keekly. Ugh, how much time we got? How much? Okay, all right. We're gonna, be, we're gonna be able to do, we're gonna run through this one more time. So this will be it and we're gonna run through it one more time and then we're gonna go ahead and show you the team and also uh, how we did. Uh, so I'll skip ahead. Well, I won't skip ahead. After this half hour, you'll see like a cut and then I'll show you all the players that I actually uh, hit. I actually don't know how much that um Coleman's worth. I assume it's not a good deal because it still seems pretty expensive. I also don't know how much good old pick specialist uh, Cam Chancellor's worth, but that seems really cheap, and it is. Give it to me. There we go. Six thousand. We're gonna sell you for. We're gonna sell you for nine. Let's just sell it. That will sell it. Twenty one hundred. Thank you. This does add up. It does. I don't. Ooh, Barry sold. Cool, cool. I don't know if we. You know, I don't. Clearly, I don't think we made a hundred thousand. Ooh. hundred thousand this uh, episode uh, unless we hit something good on the last go around but I still think we did pretty solid considering we didn't hit anything and I just this filter is so good I can't express to you how good this is uh, except to just tell you it is really good um, it is by far my su most successful filter I would say what I what I this is what I use off camera this is what I use on camera um, it doesn't matter what you see on camera is exactly what I use off camera if I'm trying to filter out, it's because I want to try it out, and I probably, usually I've at least attempted it off camera to see if it actually is pretty good. I'm not going to give you a filter that I don't think is very good, unless I'm actually just doing like a testing filter sort of video. But I'll let you know if that's the case. But uh, Deep Threat, come on. If I give you the filter, you know it's good. You, now, you might have to know prices. You might need to know some things, but it's good. Um, bruising back, no and fun that's what i like this is fun to me i to me like some people will tell you that and rightfully so that if you keep refreshing on certain things that they work whoops i didn't mean to do ankle breaker again if you keep refreshing on so and so this thing this 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 or something like that whatever the filter may be you're gonna have make like so many coins you're gonna make a hundred thousand coins in a half hour every half hour keep making them uh that may be true but one it's very competitive so you got to be fast uh, this is not as competitive, What? not even close to as competitive. Uh, 
but also to me it's not fun and if you're not having fun like i mean i guess you do it because you want like it will make you it'll be able to allow you to have more fun later so you snipe to have you know so you can make coins with that way you can buy good players and then have fun but i actually just enjoy the sniping and if you're not enjoying it, I think you're doing it wrong. That's what I'm going to say. You're doing it wrong. And that is my uh, advice when you are sniping. Find something that you actually enjoy. Wait, 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 wait. Is that straight hand really only worth that? Yes, it is. Wow. We're running out of time, unfortunately. The time is running short. Uh, I'm assuming Vic Beasley actually is worth it. I actually... Yeah, I can't really make anything. Even if I could sell for 80, it's it's worth it, but not too much. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're almost out of time. Hopefully some good stuff is selling. That's what I like to see. Edge setter. Come on. Merciless. What a great name. What a great name. Uh, edge setter. All right, field general. Come on, don't. Come on, the beer, the beer, the beer. Nope. Let me down. I, w I waited too long. My fault. My fault. We're gonna do it right corner. Okay, tackle machine, the beard for good luck. Zach Brown for twelve? No, probably not. Did I say twelve ten I meant? Nope, not a good deal. Not a good deal. On the tackle machine. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Tackle machine, nope. Chalk that up to uh, unsuccessful. Uh another Vic Beasley. Edge Blitzer. Cover linebacker, come on. We're running out of time. We're running out of time. Um, no. Uh, Keekly at 19 is a pretty good solid price, but uh, lockdown, come on. Come on. Jenkins. Carr. Pryor. Ah. All right, all right. Cam Chancellor? All right, just keep doing it. We'll make coins on Cam. I don't know if we'll be able to sell this for what I want to get out of it, but... Eh, let's just put it up for 87. Let's just make it go. Oh, the one sold for nine. And there was a Victor Cruz that sold. Cool, cool. Uh, I probably could have sold that. See, I'm losing coins by putting that cam up for that. Pick specialist. And we have deep defender. And yeah, we're going to probably go a little over. But you know what? That's okay. Big hitter. Ooh, very cool, cool. All right, all right, all right. Uh, that's solid. That was almost 4K right there to end it. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, okay. Uh, I think we're good. <laughs> we made 8K like right at the end. If these do sell for 16, 16, 5 ish, we am gonna put this up for 8K. What in the world? Um, I don't, again, I don't think we've made as much as we've made in the past, but uh, because we didn't really hit anything big, but these things add up. Definitely. Uh, definitely add up. Let's just do one for uh, Freeze Offense because we know Victor Cruz likes to come around. Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, we got, okay, we got some good stuff up there. All right. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break. Uh, we got some stuff on the auction house, and I'm going to show you uh, what everything sold for. All right, we are back. Unfortunately, we got a, a few things here that, that has not sold so far. We've made about uh, 35000 which isn't a whole lot, unfortunately, in a half hour. But once all this sells, and even if we sell for the bare minimum of what we uh, should be able to get for it without trying to get its maximum value, like maybe taking off a thousand or few, we should get about sixty thousand. If it sells for what I sh what I'm hoping to get, it's going to be closer to seventy thousand coins that we made. Uh, so here's everything selling. Uh, some of this stuff was bought before. Uh, the best uh, hit of all, I think, was well, it's going to be the Brockers. Um, it's going to be the Brockers for sure. Uh, a few of those, of course, were bought before I started tonight. Uh, before I started, uh, but they're all there. Uh, Cole Anderson was pretty solid as well, but nothing too big. Victor Cruz, if you add all those up, uh, once they sell, uh, will be pretty good as well. But really, uh, uh, Brockers is probably the best since we only got them for 5000 Nothing too big, which is pretty solid considering we still made 60000 Even if you think that nothing sells, uh, well, something just sold. There's one of the Victor Cruises. Even if 
uh, basically everything doesn't sell or I mean it will sell but it say I take basically not much profit I still made probably even if I get minimum 45 50 thousand if I get what I'm trying to get for it should be about 65 so uh, we, we should be pretty good uh, there I think it's gonna be about 65 thousand coins which is pretty good all after all said and done thank you Victor Cruz uh, was not hitting anything again we didn't have our 20k snipe and didn't really have anything too big here's our team which I haven't shown in a while I haven't even looked at it in a while. Uh, let me know what you think. Obviously, the offensive line isn't too good. It's just kind of throwing some cards in there to make it an offensive line. We still have A.J. McCarron. We have Phillip Rivers back there, too. So, again, it's not exactly the best team. Uh, 92 overall. Uh, so, let me know any players that you want to see on this team. Uh, as you see, we went ultimate freeze. Pretty much the whole thing, ultimate freeze uh, defense is uh, is where we're going. It's pretty solid. But, uh, ooh, something else just sold. Uh, where was that Eric Berry not selling? Ooh, something sold. Come on, Eric Berry. Or Brockers. Brockers are even way better. All right, Eric Berry sold right at the end. So I think that makes us uh, 40. I think we're a little over 40. Uh, and then once those sell, we should be about, I think it's about 65. So that's that's pretty solid. Not our best half hour. Definitely not our worst. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments or uh, send me a DM on Twitter. Uh, that's, all, that's all I got. Almost 10K. Thank you so much. Chewbacca Lemma. Out.